what up we're back and we're gonna review metro exodus damn dude that game pass i bought fucking a dollar i don't know if it's still a dollar but on microsoft game pass the beta for pc fucking worth it man a dollar and i've already played three games and finished three games that's great right but this time let's talk about metro exodus i've been a metro fan since the first metro game the second metro game last night and then this metro game it keeps the fucking thing alive now, different from the first two games, this is you know more advanced, more open world-ish compared to the previous two. Uh, gun customization, great. Characters, you know them. Uh, I know them from first game, second game. They're back. Some new characters. What is this about? Well, finally, they decided to leave the Metro. Yeah, and explore the world outside. This is all gameplay footage, by the way. It looks pretty fucking good game, right? Uh, controls are a little harsh, but whatever. Um, like I said, they escaped Metro. Because our main character, Artyom, wants to find people outside. Which makes sense to, you know, the ending of Metro uh, Last Light and stuff. The Dark Ones decided to leave. They saved Artyom. If that's canon, I'm not sure. Uh, they talk about them a little bit here. Because, uh, you know, the Dark Ones are kind of the, not really protagonists, but they were the main focus for the Metro besides D6 in the second game. D6 being that secret uh, underground base in the Metro system and uh, that they control now. Um, so yeah, they decided to leave, right, uh, the subway system, which was actually, I was kind of worried in that point for this game, because I love Metro, like I said, in the subway, close quarter combat, the shotgun was my gun, um, open world area, I found myself using the AK more, because it was more long range, you can't really fight with the shotgun long range, unless you got buckshot, I guess, I don't know. So yeah, life outside, they find out that, uh, it was kind of a spoiler, but not really. Um, okay, the Metro system and the Metro games, they had factions, right? Our main character and the rest of the crew here, they were from Polis, I think. Our team was usually from somewhere else, I forgot. So there's factions in this uh, Metro, of course, you got the Nazis and then the red guys who are basically communists. But uh, the biggest factions were Polish and uh, I think it was Hansa. But we never saw Hansa, and we find out in this game that uh, Hansa is actually using jammers because that was the last order they got to jam any communications going into uh, Moscow and out. Wow, yeah, that's a big thing. Big surprise there. That's actually pretty good, uh, good storyline. They did that because that was the last order they were given, but of course we find that out and we finally leave Moscow, which is interesting because why didn't we do this before, you know? I mean, it's highly radiated outside, you know, in the city. Maybe outside the city limits is not that radiated. Who knows? I mean, I'm just guessing here. Usually, you know, knowledge from previous games. But whatever. So that's basically the beginning of the game, which is actually pretty long. Um, you hardly get to play Artyom and them until, like, after certain events happen. Like getting shot in the face and getting fucking dead bodies thrown on top of you. That, that pretty much happens. But, um, yeah, once you get to play, I mean, it's pretty stealthy. You can be stealthy. I, I was really fucking stealthy myself. But, you know, you could also go uh, guns blazing. I mean, there's a lot of guns in this game, all customizable any way you want them. Uh, there's probably a total of 15 guns. I'm not sure I didn't count all of them. I didn't use all of them. But they each have different customization, different grips, different silencers, uh, different long-range barrels. It's fucking tight, actually. Just customizing the gun is cool. Um, characters, like I said, this game... Is highly devoted to its characters, though the only characters I really cared about were Anna, Miller, and Artyom. The rest of the guys, I didn't know them. They were probably, you know, put in the game before in the previous games or talked about more. I think they might have talked about them in the books, but uh, you're not really invested in them. And it's kind of like a miss in this game for me, but luckily they do a good job in the diary, which uh, I'm going to go over because most of the characters he talks about there. So. So the diary was interesting. I actually probably spent like an hour reading this thing. It has all the characters. Our first character, of course, is Anna, the girl he fell in love with in Metro uh, Metro Last Light. She's a powerful sniper, the best sniper they have actually in the Spartan uh, Legion. She's beautiful. She's young, and uh, I feel like she was underused in this game a lot. <laughs> she was more of the character you go and save a lot. Trust me. You save her a lot, though she does save you too sometimes. Actually, some cool ass sniper shots. But um, I don't want to give much away. But she's important to running the plot in this game, right? Uh, Miller, Colonel Miller, great guy. Love the Miller guy. He's Miller Lights uh, spokesman. Nah, 
now he's a great guy great character um father figure to rtm uh he's come out in all three games i saw him in the first game second game and third game i think first game i'm not too uh, it's been a long time but he's badass he's led the spartans he's basically the go-to guy in the uh, metro system and now he's your commander out in the field he's also on his father so there's kind of friction there but um depending on how you play the game different endings you know you get to see different things come out but he's cool dude though i love him and these are really the only two characters i really care about but there's a whole other characters here we got fucking duke we got that uh marine dude i forget his name damir i forget all these guys names because i don't know them but you kind of do get to know them in the in the diary but it's still you know it's hard to devote yourself to these guys because they haven't been around as much well they probably were i don't remember seeing them in the games but um yeah like i said it focuses a lot on these guys especially when you're on doing your patrols and your missions and stuff in the open world areas and meeting different hot girls who they eventually get with <laughs> one character i was expecting to see was hunter if you guys don't know who hunter is he was the badass Spartan who you first saw in the first game. He took out fucking Munes like it was nothing. He goes out. We never see him again. Um, he's the best that they got, actually, besides Artyom. What happened to him? I don't know. But I know in the books he comes back and he's alive. But I was expecting to see him here. But nah. Not really a spoiler. But but overall, it's a great game. The open world is fun. Uh, choices you make are cool. It's not as RPG as you like. But that's Metro for you, you know. Uh, music is great, and I uh, hope I get to see a sequel to this. Please. So this is uh, definitely a 9 out of 10 for fucking me. Love the game, love the series, and uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys like this too. Hit that like, hit that sub, and I'll catch you guys next time.